Hi, I'm Al Woods of Woods Recruiting. The college recruiting process is all about major exposure. So what I mean by that is you just can't focus on a handful of college programs because they look good on TV. You need to look beyond the college programs that are in your local community that you see on TV all the time. You need to expand the reach of your recruiting search to include all the college programs in your home state. So let's say you are a really good player, but maybe you're not going to go to Ohio State. So maybe you're looking for low Division I schools or maybe a very good Division II school. I mean, the bottom line is you want to go to some, a, a college program where you're going to play where you're going to have an opportunity to enjoy athletic life. You know, the worst thing in the world, and I've seen this happen many times, is where student athletes are so hell-bent on going D1, uh, their whole focus is D1, their whole life has been bred to think D1, and then when they get there, they, they don't play, and they'll stay for four years because it's D1. You know, because they're on TV, because they're going to a tournament game or a bowl game, or because it's D1. So, and then, so when the athletic experience is over with, you never played, you hardly played. I knew this one young man many years ago. He went to a, uh, a pretty prominent college basketball program, uh, you know, on the East Coast, and he, uh, you know, his family thought it was the greatest thing in the world that he got a chance to play at this major Division One college program that has produced some great, great players. But the times I saw him play was at the end of the games, where the game didn't matter anymore, the game was out of reach, whatever the situation is, he got very little time. So that was his whole four-year career. Yeah, he wore the gear, he was proud to be a part of that, but he never played. He hardly played. So I would want to go somewhere where I'm going to get an opportunity to play. That way, when it's over, I have something to say. I have uh, memories to share about my athletic experience. I have stories to tell about, you know, how well I did, you know, ath athletically. And, and nowadays, think about this. And nowadays, players are ending up in the professional levels coming out of D1 schools, low D1 schools, D2 schools, Division three schools, you know, they're making it to the professional level. You know, the NFL, they're pulling players from everywhere. I mean, the bottom line there is you have size, speed, ability. It doesn't matter what school you go to, okay? And also, think about this, really. When you graduate from college, Work so hard to get that degree, and you finally graduate from college. It's not going to say on your degree, Division One, Division Two, or Division Three. It's just not going to happen. You're going to have a degree. You're going to have great athletic experience. You're not going to be in a situation where you sat on the bench for four years and you never played, or you were a Division One practice dummy for four years. You know, I mean, that's why they got a hundred and something players on some of these D1 teams. All oh, those kids are not going to play. They're going to be practice players. So you want to increase the number of colleges that you search for, home state and in the neighboring states. So I'm, I'm, I live in Ohio, pretty big state, a lot of college programs, but all the states that surround Ohio, and if you include all those colleges, you got over 100 schools that you can target. So that's where you need to be in your college search where it's that deep. Don't just limit yourself to just a handful of schools. In, in, in increase your reach to include as many schools as possible. So this is Al Woods, Woods Recruiting. Thank you so much.